what social security increase ssdi increase ssi increase we are talking about 168 dollar increase yes you heard it right for social security recipients 168 dollars and additionally new stimulus payment new stimulus check coming right here in this important state whether you are social security ssi ssdi recipients be sure to check out the increase also this new stimulus check payment coming right here in this video the month of the september is kind of a unique because because a single payment date have multiple payments going out as well as there will be double deposit unexpected payment going out so no wonder there will be some surprises regarding early payments unexpected deposit double deposit today in this video we'll be going to cover the social security benefit payment schedule all the key dates so guys without further ado let's jump right into all the details i'm really excited to deep dive into the topic we have received six important states which are sending out stimulus check and watch this video till then to find out whether your state is sending out stimulus check you could be eligible to receive additional money so guys without further ado let's start this video however quickly before we start make sure to hit that like if you like this video make sure to subscribe turn on all the bell notification and without further ado let's jump right into it so again let me summarize the september payment schedule on to the first of the month there will be two important payments going out first is the ssi recipient all the supplemental security income beneficiaries will be going to receive their payment on first of the september and the next important payment until the 1st September is all those social security beneficiaries who received their social security before May 1997 do check out 1st of September for your payments to be deposited then 13th of the September if your birth date lies between 1st to 10th of the month if your birth date lies between 11th to 20th of the month then do check out 20th of the September for your payments to be deposited and if your birth date lies between 21st to 31st of the month then be sure to check out 27th of the September for your payments and talking about the second deposit for the ssr recipient it will be happening on 29th of the september 2023 the first payment for the ssr recipient will be going out on first september no wonders right there normal payment but talking about the 29th of the september that's where the fun lies in 29th of the september is for all the ssr recipient this will be your double deposit the second deposit of the month and the reason is quite simple simply how the dates are lying onto the calendar that due to that you'll be going to receive your supplemental security income much earlier than expected and that's where we need to check out the next month calendar so if you check out the first of the october typically all the ssi beneficiaries should have received their payment on first of the month but here is the thing first of the month happens to be landing on sunday and that's where you'll be not going to receive your october ssi payment on first of the month instead that ssi payment will be coming in on 29th of the september remember guys this is not an extra payment no bonus payment no extra unexpected deposit it's just how simply the dates are lying onto the calendar and you'll be going to receive october ssi payment one or two days early all right guys so first let's talk about social security increase social security reform i know there are a lot of people talking about two popular social security reform bills lately it's the social security 2100 act and its social security expansion act which is a plan for two thousand four hundred dollar raise in the social security now when whether it's social security expansion act or social security 2100 act this both of the reforms both of the bills have a one thing in common so either this one will get implemented or that one so before we understand this we need to understand how social security benefits cost of living adjustment are calculated today now to calculate the real rate of the inflation so that they can provide you the cost of living adjustment they use what called cpiw figure now cpi you can think of it as a shopping cart with various items in it each one represents category and cpi score is calculated based on their prices of each of the items in their category reflecting the inflation from previous month now the key point right over here is that the prices of these items reflecting inflation now these categories are weighted differently between cpiw and cpie now let's take a closer look at some of these categories and their wings so under the cpie housing carries 44.4 percent compared to cpiw which is just coming at 39.2 percent this makes sense because older individuals typically have higher housing expenses than younger folks who might still live with their parents and have roommates now that we know that how these categories are weighing differently for cpiw and cpie let's examine the actual difference in a monetary difference between cpie and cpiw now for example in 2013 dollar based on cpiw was 1.5 percent however if they would have used the cpie instead the cola would have been 1.6 percent similarly in the year 
at 2014, CPI W Cola was 1.7%. It could have been 2% using CPIE. It's worth noting that in some of the years, CPI W Cola was higher. For example, 2018, the CPI W Cola was 2.8%, whereas it would have been 2.6% with the CPIE. Similarly, with the 2021, the CPI W Best Cola was 5.9%, but it would have been 4.8% with the CPIE. Now, considering the entire 10 year period increase on the cola, CPIE would have been 29.7% compared to the actual 28.6% using CPIW. Now, you might be wondering what this exactly means in terms of benefit increases for all the social security beneficiaries. Now, currently, the average monthly social security payment is $1,625. However, using the CPIE formulation for cola calculation, that amount would have been seen a slight bump to $1,639.40. It may seem like a small difference, but you may see it as only $14 per month, but it actually comes at $168 per year benefit increase. Now, it's still a small increase. However, over the long period, using CPIE calculation would have benefited recipients more than using the CPIW, and we are not even taking account the compounding. So both Social Security 2100 Act and Senator Bernie Sanders' plan advocate for transitioning to CPIE instead of CPIW. These proposals still build upon existing increases that are already in place, while we know that the changes to Social Security are inevitable within next decade. Speaking of the exact timing, when they are expected, it's kind of uncertain at this point. Some politicians support moving forward with Social Security reform, while others advocate for cuts to the program due to concerns about excessive spending. And guys, moving forward, we have got this new stimulus payment which are coming in these states right here into the June 2023. Starting with the state of Idaho in March and September 2022, Idaho sent out tax rebates and also special session rebates for those who have filed their tax returns on to time. But if you are last in filing your taxes, don't worry because rebates for lead filers are still being processed throughout the summer. So if you are in Idaho and filed your taxes late, then you may be still eligible for the tax rebate and it's a great opportunity for receiving additional stimulus funds. Let's talk about Montana. Currently, Montana is only state offering a stimulus package for second half of 2023. Presidents may qualify for the property tax rebate up to $500 or an income tax rebate equal to lesser than $2,500 for joint filers and also $1,250 for other classifications as well. Now, income tax rebates will be paid out between July and December 31st of the 2023, while the property tax rebate must be claimed online or via US mail between August 15 and October 1st, 2023. Next one, we got New Mexico. They have been offering two types of rebates this year. Taxpayers and one for those who are not required to file taxes. Income tax rebates amounts to $1,000 for joint filers and $500 for single filers. And those that are married and filing separately, this is the rebate for them. Those rebates will be paid out in the mid-June 2023. For those people who are not required to file an income tax return, amount is still being determined and will be paid out in the July. Moving on to Illinois, back in the October of the last year, there was a deadline to file for both Illinois income tax rebate and property tax rebate. Here is the thing, most of the payments were have been already made, but the state controller has stated that payments will continue until everybody receives their payment. If you haven't yet received your tax rebate yet, there is still chance. Make sure to file your income tax and property tax for potentially qualifying for these rebates. Next one, let's talk about state of Maine. They have introduced program called Maine Winter Energy Relief Program around last October and payments were made into the January of this year. However, if you qualify for the payment but haven't yet received one, you still have until June 30 to contact your state tax assessor to prove that you are eligible and if applicable, you may still receive the rebate until September 30. So if you are eligible, don't miss out for this opportunity and make sure to reach out them before the deadline. Next one is Massachusetts. Starting in the November, state will begin paying out the state tax refunds. Eligible filers were entitled for a refund of 14.3% of their 2021 tax returns. Late filers still have until September 15 to get their tax returns and qualify for these rebates. These rebates will be paid out to approximately one month after the state processes their tax returns. And if you fit the description, take advantage of this opportunity to potentially receive additional stimulus check. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe. And this is Kedar from How to Guys. See you in the next video.